All right, hello again, YouTube. Uh, just a real quick video here. Uh, just a little side project I've put together. Um, just there on the garage roof, uh, you'll see a really small panel. Uh, to the best of my memory, I think that's a little 5 watt thing. Uh, I got that a while back uh, to put on my van uh, to try and power the fan in the summer. Uh, turned out to be not nearly enough. Uh, the van's fan uses something like 30, 40 watts, which is crazy. Uh, and for ages, I was wondering what the hell to do with the thing, because it, it's not really powerful enough to fa power anything on its own. Um, so what I've done is I popped it up on the garage and just used some old uh, speaker cable I've got uh, just to run it all the way up uh, and into my bedroom. Uh, now before anyone says anything, yeah, I know, long, thin wire going to lose a lot of power, but it's only 5 watts to begin with and it was just sitting idle so I'm not too fussed. Uh, and pretty much what I've done with it is just run it into my, into my room, uh, into the old charge controller. Uh, this is the one that used to be uh, in the shed before we went for an MPPT controller. Uh, and I've just got this just coming straight into this battery here. This is the old small one we had in the shed for a while. Uh, which was originally the car battery for my van, so it's only very, very small. I think it's a 36 amp hour. I mean, it's not much in it, uh, but pretty much. Got the panel charging this battery now, uh, and I've just been on eBay just to get some stuff, but basically I'm just going to get a crocodile clip uh, to a lighter socket converter thing. Uh, it cost me like five pounds. It's in the post now. Uh, and pretty much just pop that on my windowsill here. Uh, and it means any kind of little 12 volt LED lighting or for example my mobile phone which I'm recording this on now uh, I've already got a lighter socket charger adapter um, and I figure that you know even though it's only a tiny little panel uh, you know eight hours of sunlight a day I mean, I'm sure that's enough to charge a small mobile phone's battery um, I'll find out eventually if it is or not um, right now I've just got this little fan just hooked up straight to the panel output. That's why it's not turning, because well, the sun's gone away now. It was it was going quite well earlier. Um, and interestingly, the other day when I was in direct sunlight, uh, the fan actually has the exact figures on it. Uh, I managed to get if it'll focus. I don't want to focus. Well, basically, I managed to get uh, about 12.5 volts. Remembering this is a standard charge control, so it drops it down to the battery voltage at 0.15 amps, so it's about 2 or 3 watts. So, not brilliant, but I mean, 2 or 3 watts an hour for 8 hours a day, that should be plenty. Um, only thing I would say, just a little heads up to those out there um, do not buy this charge controller, um, they're not very well built. Uh, what I found out since I took it out of the solar shed uh, is that these screws here, for whatever reason, you screw your wires down to them, and I believe that on the back of it, it'll, it's got some kind of metal tab, you know, like a little spring tab or something, uh, which actually puts it onto the PCB, and that's very, very uh, tricky to get to work. Um, literally, I can screw this in, and if I just kind of put a bit of pressure on it, it'll work. And then a bit more pressure, it won't work. And it's just, it's really, really fiddly. Um, it's like right now, I'm probably not going to pick it up on the camera. But you can see it's showing the battery voltage and it's showing the charge and the load. But just now and again, the charge controller can't even tell that the battery's there. Um, and I mean, the cables are connected perfectly fine, so it's obviously an internal fault. Um, and when I get round to it, if it really bothers me that much, I'll probably just get a soldering iron out, open it up and just, you know, make it a little bit more resilient. Um, otherwise, uh, when I eventually upgrade the shed again, I might just put that MPPT controller up here, but, yeah. But yeah, just a quick short video, just a, a little sub-project I'm doing, just with spare parts, you know, spare battery, spare controller, spare panel, so... Instead of leaving it idle, might as well use it. 
Uh, well, thanks for watching my videos and uh, keep an eye out for updates.